everyone. Welcome to another edition of Base Coat Basics. Uh, we're here in the booth at Createx. Uh, we're going to still keep on the same topic uh, as the last video we did uh, in terms of our ground coat, but we're going to show you how to mix two of the sealers together to create a ground coat for our Wicked Metallic Gold. So we use the sealer yellow and the sealer tan, mixed one to one. So we're going to make that make sure I'll show you guys what that looks like. Uh, the video that we did before, the last video, uh, we talked about how important a ground coat is. Um, we were using the silver sealer right out of the bottle, so that was straight out of the bottle reduced. Now with the gold, we found that if you mix the tan and yellow, equal parts, one to one. So I'm going to go one part my yellow, one part tan. Same deal, 10% 4011. We found that this mixture gives you a nice, even ground coat for applying gold. So you can see that's one coat on the panel. I'm going to do the same thing with this, this demo here. Uh, we're going to do one panel uh, covered with sealer our mixture and then another panel that will be raw, just the black and white, so you guys can see how effective a ground coat, or, you know, like we talked about, a foundation is, uh, is helpful when you're applying these metallic colors. So we're going to let this mix for about a minute and I'm going to already add some in my gun. I'm going to do my another second coat which should cover that no problem. Okay, we're done mixing. It's been about a minute, so everything's nice and uh, mixed together. Our panel's dry. I'm going to put another coat on. coats and that, that again that black line is gone you know it's a nice even coverage so we're gonna let that dry up and we're gonna show you how we mix our gold okay guys we're back it's been about 10 minutes our panels dry uh, we're gonna mix up a little bit of our wicked gold to show you guys what that looks like but before I do that I want to touch on a topic real quick about these sealers um, the nice thing is that being that these are non catalyzed um, you can save leftover sealer if you made a special color, like we mixed these two together. If you had leftover sealer, you could put that in a bottle, and cap it, and put it on your shelf for the next time you're spraying a color like that. If you make a special mixture that you really like, instead of having to do that every time, there's no reason you can't save that. You know, as long as it's capped and airtight, it's something you can hold on to for the next project, or if you're moving on a project, you know, you, you have that, that, that you're ready to go. So, having said that, we're gonna mix up a little bit of our Wicked Gold. And like always, we say three to one with our 4030, so three parts paint to one part 4030, and then 10% 4011. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right now. Make sure you shake these two all the time. So that's my one. 25% and then my 10% reducer, 4011. That's it right there. So we're going to mix this up for about a minute and uh, I'm going to put some down on the panel so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, we're back. Uh, we've been mixing this for about a minute so everything looks good. I'm going to get it into my cup and spray some. Um, again, I want to touch on straining um, using the PPS system. So these guys have a built-in strainer, so I'm not going to strain it going into this cup, but for all intents and purposes, we want you guys to strain the paint. Just in case, sometimes you get dried paint, you know, up on the cap, on the lid, for leaving it open. So it's just cheap insurance, make sure you get it strained out. I'm going to do coat number one. So that's one.
one coat and you can see the difference. I mean, that's just one coat, but you're gonna achieve full coverage, full color saturation, probably two coats on this panel. And it would probably take four or five coats to lose that black line. So we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna do one more coat and then we'll do a comparison. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, we're gonna put on coat number two. Okay guys, it's been another 10 minutes. Uh, the panels are dry, dry to the touch. Uh, I'm gonna do my control coat again on this panel, on both panels. Uh, so I'm gonna drop my air pressure, just a couple PSI, and back off the panel and do a 75% overlap. So you almost double your distance from where you used to be and 75% and, and that's your control coat just to make sure everything's nice and even. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. Okay everyone, we're back in the booth. Both panels are dry, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, we got two coats and a, and a control coat over both panels. And I think there's a massive difference visually between the panel that we didn't put a ground coat on and the panel that we did. Uh, the gold is nice and even and consistent and you can still see the difference between the white and black on that card. So I'm gonna put my light on it. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but that gold is nice and, and bright and even. And this is bright and even as well, but you can definitely see through it. I mean, you can read the letters at the top of the card. And so that's going to translate into what you're doing in terms of achieving a nice, even coverage coat without having to put a lot of material on. So we're going to recap real quick. We used our sealer tan and sealer yellow to create the ground coat for the gold. In this case, it was the metallic gold, but it works good for um, pearl gold or any gold color and, and throughout our whole line if you were to use that. So it's a simple, simple way to keep everything consistent and achieve that nice, perfect finish. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, thanks for checking out Base Coat Basics and we'll see you next time.